Dr. Joy Simmons, one of America's most important collectors of African-American art, lives in a house tucked away in Los Angeles's Baldwin Hills. Joy lived in her house before she redesigned it in 1992. At the time, she was also in medical school and raising her two daughters. My daughters were like seven and five. And so our first thing that we did was to make the house ours. It took me 10 years to get furniture in this room because I just couldn't commit to furniture. I was buying art. When you walk in the front door, you see a couple, because that was very important for me and my children. They are in a formal dress because I felt that was important and timeless. Lauren Halsey is an artist here in Los Angeles. She did these on site. I said, but I want women on the columns so that you had that vibe of women when you walk into this home. Who is the artist of the um, sculpture of the little girl? Actually, that is a mannequin from Saks Fifth Avenue. Is it really? <laughs> How fantastic is that? That is uh, Daisy, and so I've changed her outfit a couple times. Oh. But the smirk on her face, people always are like, is that real? No. <laughs> And she almost looked like Naima when she did when she was a little kid. It's hilarious. My mom would, you know, drag us to art openings at very small galleries around the city. You know, when you're a kid, you're like, oh, mom, you know. <laughs> but what I do know is that it laid the foundation for me uh, to become a curator and to think about how people interact with artwork in different ways. The art in the dining room, it's a smaller space, more intimate space. I made the colors a little more muted because your dinner is supposed to be the focus of your meal. My father, he was a tennis player, but he always wore Jack Purcells. Those are his iconic sneakers, and they have been gold-plated by an artist named Dale Kendall Carter. I don't like a lot of white spaces, even though I have a big white house. So when we built the house in 92, I had an artist who I loved his graphic sense, Keith Williams, I commissioned him to do that wall. I think the kitchen is like the ideal family room. I didn't want granite. I didn't want that heaviness in this space. I wanted it to be a lighter space, a more colorful space, because when the kids were growing up, this is where everybody hung out. It continues to be kind of the center of things when I host. These are hydraulic springs off of a truck. They're very heavy, but it just adds that color, gets out of the way, and you can still enjoy the space. All of these pieces are telling a story of our time for me, and that's how I chose it. Your home is your castle. You know, all of us go out there and we're slaying dragons. So you want your space to be nurturing, enlightening, supportive of you. And that's what I try to encourage people to do. Find that piece that resonates with you, that makes you feel the way you need it to feel. Joy has amassed a collection that is incredibly personal. So in a way, when you come into her house, you are surrounded by the story of Joy's life as seen through the lens of the different artists that she loves.